Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be discussing all things CO2 scrubbing. Why they're important, how your tank can benefit from them, and why I've been using them over the past few years to help maintain pH in my tanks. Having a high and stable pH in reef aquariums is incredibly important. Corals need a high pH around 8.1 to 8.3 to grow strong skeletons. At higher pH, more carbonate ions are available which corals use to build calcium carbonate structures. A low pH means less carbonate, slower growth and more stressed corals. Additionally, high pH boosts photosynthesis in the coral symbiotic algae, so they produce more oxygen and energy, keeping your reef vibrant and thriving. It also prevents CO2 buildup and keeps your alkalinity stable. The bottom line is high pH equals healthy corals, better growth and a reef that mimics more natural ocean conditions. However, at night you might have noticed that your pH in the tank drops. During the day, corals and algae photosynthesize, consuming CO2 and raising the pH. When the lights go off, photosynthesis stops but respiration continues, thus releasing more CO2. This CO2 then forms carbonic acid which lowers the pH. Whilst this is normal, tanks in enclosed up spaces like homes or offices can trap CO2 in the air, which dissolves into the water and makes pH drop even faster beyond natural levels. There are a range of things you can do to minimise this, such as increase surface agitation, run a refugium, or dose calcwasser. However, one of the most popular methods is to implement a CO2 scrubber into your system. A CO2 scrubber is able to take out CO2 in the air before it gets to your skimmer. I've been running CO2 scrubbers on both my tanks for quite a while now and I've noticed a drastic change in both the stability of my pH but also coral growth as well. I've been using the Aquaforest Air Scrubber Media for the last few months now and I'm quite pleased with how it's been going. For the CO2 scrubbers I've seen anything and everything being used for these, anything from a bucket with a hole in it all the way to this Aquaforest scrubber. But the main thing is at the end of the day that you just want something that can channel the airflow through the media and will also hold enough that you don't have to replace it every couple of weeks. I have used other brands of scrubbing media in the past, however each refill generally lasts me about two months and it's easy to tell when it needs replacing because it turns this sort of purplish colour. One way to make your scrubbers more efficient is to add some water or a damp cloth to where the scrubber sits. The Aquaforest scrubber is perfect for this as it has a small sponge in the base which you can load up with water beforehand. Another handy trick I've learnt over the years is to have a small valve which you can open and close to redirect air through the scrubber. This means that you can open up the valve during the day when there's less CO2 in the air and close it at night when you want the air to be directed through your scrubber. Skimmers can be quite noisy, so adding a scrubber to your skimmer line can help to reduce the noise coming from it. Another way to increase the performance of your air scrubber is to hook it up to a recirculating system in your skimmer. Some skimmers will have an extra nozzle at the top where you can attach the intake for the scrubber to go into. This basically means it will just reuse the same air through the system. 
Thanks everyone for watching and please be sure to check out some of my other videos on other reefing topics as well. Cheers!